Hugh Kyler, happening tonight, no new contract between SunTran and the local bus drivers union. 363 voted no, only four voted yes for a 98.91% rejection of the contract. You heard it there from the Teamsters Local 104 spokesperson. Almost all the voters rejected a contract offer from SunTran. Nine News Side's Keaton Thomas joins us now with what's next. Well, good evening. So for the nearly 20 million annual SunTran riders, this means that normal service will continue through Wednesday, but after that, it's unclear. The contract between SunTran and Union was supposed to end here on Friday, but was actually extended till next week on Wednesday. Union members met three times today to vote on a new contract from SunTran, and as you heard, it was almost unanimously rejected. The contract was a three-year proposed contract with absolutely no raises in wages for anybody in progression, anybody at the top rate of pay, the wage progression was still left frozen, and the only raise, which is an insult, was 50 cents to the new hires because they're having trouble keeping people. So the other main issue is safety of the bus drivers and the riders, especially after a driver was actually stabbed in November on the job. But as for the riders go, the union says they understand the buses are important and do not want to have a work stoppage for them, and neither does SunTran. SunTran says they can expect riders, or nor riders can expect normal service through Wednesday. Negotiations between the sides will continue till then as well. Now the spokesperson for the union says that they will have to wait until Wednesday night to see if there may be a strike there on Thursday morning, but he he said that they do not plan to sign another extension. We're live uh, in the studio. I'm Keaton Thomas, Val and Christina.